एवरीवन वेलकम टू जेम केम नो टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑन इनऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमर्स पार्ट टू वीडियो एंड हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद सिलीकोन्स प्रिपरेशन नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डन अ जनरल डिस्कशन ऑन व्हाट आर द स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल्स एंड हाउ इनऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमर्स आर बीइंग फॉर्म्ड सो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉचड इट यू कैन वॉच इट आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एज वेल एज द आई बटन प्रेजेंट अबाउ दिस वीडियो नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो Now, what do we mean by silicones? Silicones are organosilicon polymers. Remember the word polymers, containing very stable oxygen-silicon oxygen linkage, and these may be linear, cyclic, or cross-linked, depending on the starting material used for polymerization. And we are going to deal with preparation of all these three types of silicones. Now, preparation of silicones. is basically prepared by hydrolysis of alkyl or aryl derivatives of SiCl4 namely if you see we have RSiCl3 R2SiCl2 and R3SiCl and we have discussed a little bit about these things right because we have already seen that this is used to lock the polymer whereas this helps to form a ring or a linear polymer and this one particularly helps in formation of cross linking polymers right so remember one thing for this one on its own it does not lead to any polymerization for it only forms dimer however it is an essential component for polymerization process because it is a compound used to initiate the termination step of polymerization processes that prepared silicones okay now first step of the preparation is preparation of alkyl or aryl derivative of acyl cl4 okay so first methyl chlorosilanes are being prepared by heating methyl chloride with silicon along with copper as catalyst and 300 degree celsius mixture of silanes are formed which are thereafter separated by careful fractionation as we can see from this reaction the boiling points of each product is different so we can easily separate them out if we concentrate on this one here this concentration is 50% that is yield is 50% and these two constitutes with other compounds and other 50% of the yield so here we can understand that same reaction can also be used to maximize certain product by suitably altering silicon amount with respect to ch3cl that is if we increase the concentration of silicon then this product particularly this one will get increased because it will be formed more and if silicon concentration is decreased after one attack plenty of ch3cl will be left so attack continues okay now next case is if the mixture of ch3cl and hcl is heated by silicon with copper as catalyst at 300 degree celsius then ch3 sicl3 is the major product and the reaction is being given now the third method is using grignard reagent on sicl4 so this is the method to prepare first r sicl3 is obtained so if you want this one then this is obtained if you want the next one then further reaction can give you r2 sicl2 and on further reaction r3 sicl is being obtained and the last way to prepare alkyl or aryl derivative is phenyl chlorosilin is obtained by heating benzene with h sicl3 at temperature of 230 to 300 degree celsius in presence of bf3 or alcl3 or anhydrous bcl3 as cat okay and now remember this mechanism this is very important because here unambiguous formation of product occurs so this has an intermediate which is passing through this way that is like this here a hydrogen is already being present and sicl3 comes so there is a positive charge within the ring giving this kind of intermediate then hydrogen leaves then gives us a proper product okay h plus high affinity to depart and easily gets removed so here 
here there is a H minus and from this one we get a H plus okay so ultimately these H plus and H minus combines to give us the bright product which is hydrogen gas now we are going to see the next step that is preparation of hydroxy derivative nothing but we are doing hydrolysis to prepare hydroxy derivatives of alkyl or aryl silyl derivatives product obtained in step 1 are subjected to hydrolysis so these were the products obtained and we just hydrolyzed it to obtain HCl and these with their own stoichiometry clear now hydroxy derivatives of alkyl or aryl silanes are a class which are known as silanols so this class of compounds is known as silanols now the step 3 is the polymerization now for formation of cross-linked polymers the method is to use this particular thing as a starting material so that OH is present in all three sites so if we can see here then here reaction occurs along with this with elimination of water right if we can focus into this there is an elimination of water similarly in this side and this side also in this side reaction would have occurred but since it is a small space so we are not showing the polymerization right so ultimately on elimination of for this part only seven water will give us this type of structure remember for the whole structure there will be n water elimination n is the number which is required okay now this polymerization is stopped by a sensor system otherwise it would go on and we could not get desired product so this sensor system indicates when desired cross section is achieved at this stage the units at periphery of the polymer that is the side base will be continued to have OH groups right that have potential to extend polymerization therefore using sensor device the polymerization is stopped by blocking potential OH group by using what we have already seen R3 is IOH remember this this is used to stop the polymerization and would therefore always be having OH group on the outside that can further stop addition of R3 SiOH is essential that can block the potential propagating step after R3 SiOH addition chain termination step this is referred to as polymerization that is there is formation of polymer after the chain termination step remember this now we are going to see the formation of straight line polymer and cyclic polymer and the starting material is R2SiOH whole 2 and the end product is linear or cyclic polymer now if we take infinitesimal numbers then a straight polymer will go on but here we are concerned with few and we are leaving this side and this side ahead okay so when many molecules of dialkyl hydroxycylene undergoes a polymer a straight chain polymer or a cyclic ring silicone would be formed when the desired length of the polymer is achieved the trialkyl silanone is added that is as I have told you R3 is I O H is being added to stop the polymerization so that chain propagation stops and initiates chain termination such linear or straight chain silicones are also known functionally as thermoplastic polymer these are also known as thermoplastic polymer okay remember it next we will see the preparation of cyclic ones so if you can see here a six member cyclic silicone is being prepared and here we are requiring three molecules right so each eliminates water molecule so there is an elimination of three water molecule right the same moiety of R2 SiOH2 can also be used to prepare cyclic silicones only difference is that in that case formation of cyclic silicones the starting material is added and the starting material is not added all at together okay but gradually it is added to prevent 
linear polymerization this point is important that is gradual addition is occurring in this case addition of the starting material okay to prevent the linear polymerization making it a limiting reactant so ultimately we will get the cyclic type of silicone the last part is that here starting material is taken as r3sioh when two molecules of trialkyl monohydroxysilane interact with each other they form thimer with loss of a molecule of water as we can see that there is a loss of water molecule suppose if we consider which is lost from here then a hydrogen is being lost from here right so molecules such as these are known as siloxanes we have already discussed it these compounds find utility in cosmetic industry components of non stick cooking ware non stick do not interact with water so these were the different preparations of silicones now in the next video we will deal with properties and classifications okay so this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and comment